What is up guys, it's Crusader Cat here and welcome to my first tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a car texture similar to that on my Great American Screen Machine recreation. So in basically this episode, I'm going to explain to you basically what a car texture is, how to make one, and then at the end of the video, you should be able to know how to make your very own car texture for your very special projects in No Limits 2. So anyway, let's get into this. So the first thing I want to address about a car texture is basically a car texture. All a car texture really is, is it's basically a file on top of a train. Because basically all this car texture for my screen machine recreation is, all it is is just basically a file that I have from Google Images. And I just put it on the train to model. So what I might mean by this is actually it's a very simple process to do. And you can even do it with images from the internet as well. So we're going to go to our dummy coaster for the sake of review. And basically, let's say I wanted to make a train that has an American flag on it. Uh, there we go. And if we wanted to freeze it, we just put that image on top of the train's model. And now we have an American flag themed train. And in fact, the stripes actually match this really well as well. So let's say we actually wanted to make something like our red screen machine train over here. And that's actually what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making the white uh, train, which is Liberty's car texture. I already have the car texture, but for the sake of the review, uh, the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to be walking you guys through it on how I made it. So this way you guys know how to make it as well. Of course, every other coaster style is different as well. Not everyone is the same like the corkscrew style, but the corkscrew style I find to be the most simple, the simplest and one of the more organized ones to do it. So anyway, let's get into this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is basically you want to go into either Microsoft PowerPoint or Google Drive. Personally, I recommend Google Drive because basically then you can work on your car texture anywhere you go. And you want to make a folder that says No Limits Car Texture, kind of like mine right here. And you're going to want to open it up and then you'll have something like this eventually. So for the sake of review, again, we're going to make a new slide. We're going to call it, um, what should we call it if it'll load? No limits, car texture demo. All right, and let's just get rid of all of this. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your files, and you're going to want to search in your computer, and you're going to go into program files, and you're going to find no limits to car textures. Excuse me. Um, and you're going to want to find the main car texture for the corkscrew coaster. We're going to do the front of the car, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open it up. Now what you don't want to do is you do not want to edit this file. Do not draw on it because this is how No Limits programs the computer. Because if you edit the original file, you just screwed up the entire car texture for the ride itself. So instead what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this. You're going to copy this so you have an image of it and you're going to want to paste it in here. Then you're just going to enlarge it over here. Okay, so now you have a copy of the car texture as shown right here. I'm just using my screen machine thing over there. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the is you're going to take your shapes and you're going to want to trace over certain things that you want to that you want to take note of. So, let's say we wanted to do one of the stripes. We're going to take a stripe like this and we're going to outline it and you're also going to want to outline certain areas as well feel free to do certain areas that you want to outline as well for you to customize your train with but for now we're just going to focus on the train we're going to focus on the nose of the train we're going to focus we're going to focus on the nose of the train and we're also going to focus on the stripes okay so now I just went ahead and I decided to cover all the parts that really mattered to me the way you want to know which parts matter to you the most is you want to go to the actual train itself and you want to look at which parts match what you want to change. For the corkscrew coaster, the stripes are right over here so you want to outline those and you want to also outline the outer stripe as well because this gray thing right here is where the, out, is where the outline of the stripe is on the train and then over here is the nose of the train. One thing I did forget to mention, you want to know where the No Limits logo is. So definitely take note of where the No Limits logo is. And in fact, I may as well go outline that as well. Because that is the center of the train. That is where you want to put the logo of your coaster. There we go. 
and then once you're done outlining everything delete the copied image and now you have a template for your corkscrew coaster without deleting the original file of the car texture so now basically you just created your own car texture in a way and now you can just go ahead and now you can just pretty much fool around with it now the car texture is all yours now you can customize it to the way you like it and now you have your own car texture so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this thing real quickly as according to the screen machine train alright so now that you have your car texture finished basically now what you want to do is you're gonna to want to take the file that you finished with your car texture and then you're going to want to hit download and then go to JPEG image. Your image will now start downloading and then you go to your coaster. We're just going to ignore the dummy coaster now. And you're going to want to unfreeze it. Um, each, each coaster is different with every style. I think this is the white one. Now you want to go to the appropriate car texture. This one's going to take some plug and play because I don't know exactly what car textures are, are for what. But I do know off the, off the top of my head for the corkscrew one. So for the nose of the train you're going to want to go to car 1 and then car texture 1 and you're going to want to scroll down until you find your car texture you need it. so it's the front of the white train paste it and I think this one is possibly car texture 2 and there you have it guys very easy thing to do with the car textures um, car textures aren't rocket science they're really simple mechanic to do because all you really have to do is you just take an image from the internet or google slides and then you just import it onto your train. You can get like a really sexy train going. Let's do another example for you guys while I'm here. So over here we have my coaster Nitro. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing over here. But we're just going to focus on the zero car. Let's unfreeze. Shoot, I unfroze screen machine. We're going to unfreeze Nitro over here. And let's just get rid of the car texture over here for a minute. Uh, where is it? Oh, train one already doesn't have the car texture. So uh, let's go over to train one and we'll go to do the zero car real quickly so we'll do the same process that we did last time uh, let's refresh this and let's find our car texture tutorial and now you want to find the hyper coaster so go into your computer program files no limits to car textures uh, let's see if we can find this one hyper four seat and you want to find the one for the zero car copy and paste alright so now we have our car texture for the hyper coaster and you want to outline where the uh, you want to outline where the, the the front of the train is And let's go Google Nitro Loco. Gotta be specific. And you can pull up a PDF of the Nitro logo. Copy. And then you want to paste it. And let's just get rid of this car texture up here. And one thing I do want to note with some of the logos, you are going to have to change. How do you are? Because if you keep the Nitro logo like this and you put it on the train, it's going to appear upside down. I know it's really weird what the car texture goes, does, but that's how the program works. So now we're going to download this uh, and then we're going to put this on Nitro. Uh, car texture 1 for the hyper coaster and see if we can find it. I think this Nitro logo is going to come out really small not a bad job compared to my first one but at least you got the car texture that you want in the end um, as shown with this one it does have a couple of errors compared to uh, my finished one over here but another thing I do want to add about car textures is basically uh, car textures is basically a bunch of plug and play it takes time to perfect the master the actual car texture you want and to also get some specific spots on the train as well so Anyway, that concludes my review for you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out as much as it helped me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and look forward to more videos coming soon.